upcoming matchup against Kana. Played a lot of Jace today. You, um, you know, you got to play some of your picks today. I feel like people, I think the gods meme stuck so well that people go back to it all the time, even when, like, obviously you've yeah. grown so much as a player um, since when you were the Darius yeah. Olaf guy at the start. Uh, but, like, is there anything that you think about Kana? How do you feel about that match in particular? Because the Orin looked kind of rough. The Jace looked pretty good. This is a guy that we... Throughout most of the year, people said this guy's doing really well in scrims. We didn't always get to see it on stage. What's your take on him? I mean, I always said that, you know, he was individually, like, usually, like, a good player in the LEC, like, a good top laner. Um, I don't think he's, like, above. Like, the he's, like, slightly above average, mm -hmm. but probably not good enough to be, like, among the best top laner in the league. Like, probably not top three, for example. And, but he's, like, way above average. You know, like, he's... I mean, he's Korean. <laughs> he's Korean. Uh, yeah, he has yeah, the DNA. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Out. I don't have Korean DNA, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I mean, he played for T1 last last year. He went towards with that one. Like he's someone, right? Like this is not like a bad player by far. And I think he's bringing like a lot of confidence for KC because, I mean, if you have a player like Kana in your team, of course you will you will trust him in whatever he will do. And mentally, even in an inconscient way, you will be like. My my top is so good, you know. So it's like I think he's really positive for KC. 